Hi viewers, welcome to SS Academy channel. Today we are going to discuss about 12th Physics Volume 1 Unit 1 Electrostatistic Lesson Mind Map. So before starting the lesson, we want to know about what is mean by mind map. Mind map is a diagram for representing tasks, words, concepts or items linked to and arranged around a central concept or subject. Mind mapping helps you think Collect knowledge, remember and create ideas. Okay, let's start electrostatistics. So, electrostatistics. There are four points is there. First, electric charge. Next, electric field intensity. Third one, force between two point charges. Fourth, electric flux. Let us discuss one by one. First is the electric charge Q. So, charge. The excess or deficiency of electron is the electric charge. The SI unit of electric charge is the coulomb. It is denoted by the letter capital C. The methods of charging. There are the three is there. Three method. One by friction, by conduction, by induction. So what does mean by friction? In friction, when two bodies are rubbed together, electrons are transferred from one body to the other. For the example, when a glass rod is rubbed with silk, the red the rod becomes positively charged while the silk negatively. The next uh, conduction. Take two conductors, one charged and other uncharged. Bring the conductors in contact with each other. The charge, whether positive or negative, under its own repulsion will spread over both the conductors. Thus the conductors will be charged with the same sign. This is called uh, charging by conduction. Next uh, induction. If a charged body is brought near an un uncharged body, the charged body will attract opposite charge and ripple similar charge present in the uncharged body. As a result of this, one side of neutral body, for the uh, neutral body is the closer to charged body, becomes oppositely charged while the other is similar charged. This process is called the electrostatic induction. Okay, the next step, basic properties of charge. Charge is a quantity sized. So, Q is equal to plus or minus N. The number of electron is equal to the charge. The next step, it is a conserved. Then next, it is the additive or scalar. Electric charge is the scalar. And the next is the invariant. That means the speed is the independent. Next, is charge distribution. The charge distribution have the two, there are the two, uh, there are Contains uh, two points is that uh, discrete or point charge uh, continuous. Okay. The continuous furtherly divide as the uh, furtherly have the three parts namely linear charge, surface or aerial charge, volume charge. Let us discuss one by one. Linear charge. Linear charge density is denoted by the letter lambda. So lambda is equal to charge divided by length. Uh, we know the formula SI unit what the charge SI unit is equal to coulomb. So C, uh, capital C, length, what is the SI unit of length? Meter. So C, M to the power of minus 1. Next is surface. Surface charge density it is denoted by the letter sigma. Sigma is equal to charge divided by area. The SI unit of charge coulomb, area, meters to the power of minus 2. So, C e to the power of minus 2 is the SI unit of surface. Next, uh, volume charge. Volume charge density rho. The S is equal to charge divided by volume. The SI unit C divided by meter cube. These are the electric charges. Next, uh, electric field intensity. It is denoted by the letter E vector. Electrostatic force per unit charge E vector is equal to F vector divided by Q. This is the formula of electric field intensity. So, what is the SI unit force? We know the SI unit of force Newton. It is denoted by the letter capital N divided by charge Q capital C. So, N divided by C or V divided by M. Okay. Next, the electric field intensity is due to point charge. Uh, e vector is equal to Q divided by point charge what? Q divided by 4 pi epsilon R squared into R. Q is the here Q is the charge. Epsilon is the uh, free space of permittivity. R squared is the distance between the charges. 
ओके नेक्स्ट ड्यू टू मल्टीपल चार्जस् ओके मल्टीपल चार्ज मीन वेक्टर इज ईक्वल टू समेजन आफ क्यू डिवेड बै फोर पाई एफ हंड्रेड टू आर् स्क्वयर दिस दिस यूजिंग सूपर पोजिशन प्रिंसिपल आलो सो इ वेक्टर इज ईक्वल टू इ वन वेक्टर प्लस इ टू वेक्टर प्लस एक्सेट्रा इ एंड वेक्टर नेक्स्ट एलेक्ट्रिक डईपोल वट इज द डेफिनेशन इट इस ईक्वल अंड आपोट चार्ज सेपरेटेड बै सम डिस्टेंस isn't it so dipole moment p vector is equal to 2a q vector next electric field at a point on the axial line of dipole e vector is equal to 2k p vector r divided by r square minus a square whole power squared if r double greater than a then e vector is equal to 2k p vector divided by r cube okay so here p is the electric dipole r is the distance okay e is the electric field that we know very well next electric field at a point on the equatorial line of dipole e vector is equal to kp vector divided by r square minus a square whole power 3 by 2 if r double greater than a then e vector is equal to minus kp vector divided by r cube next torque experienced by electric dipole in uniform electric field So what is the formula? Tau vector is equal to p vector into e vector. This tau represented by the torque. P is the electric dipole. E is the e vector is the electric field. Okay. So the force experienced by dipole is equal to zero. This could be asked in one mark question sir. Okay. Then next. These are the electric field intensity. Next force between two point charges. Okay, based on the Coulomb's law. So F is equal to k q1 q2 divided by r squared. Okay, so k is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught. Here q1 q2 is the the two charges. R is the distance between the two charge. The next one, uh, uh, electric flux. Okay, denoted by the letter pi is equal to integral e vector into d s vector. The total electric field lines passing through an area. Okay, so the integral ds vector is equal to area enclosing charge drawn perpendicular to the surface. So what is the Gauss theorem? It is a very very important to mark students. Net electric flux through a closed surface enclosing charge q. So pi is equal to what is the formula of Gauss theorem formula? Pi is equal to summation of q divided by epsilon naught is equal to the closed integral. E vector into ds vector. Okay, this could be used in problems. Next, the applications of Gauss theorem. So very very important. Electric field due to infinitely long straight conductor. So E vector is equal to lambda divided by two pi epsilon naught r into n vector. So here lambda is the linear charge density. Electric field due to infinite planes sheet or charge. Of charge, e vector is equal to sigma divided by two epsilon naught into n vector. Here sigma is the surface charge density. Then next, electric field due to uniformly charged spherical shell. So e vector is in is equal to zero. So e vector on is equal to sigma divided by epsilon naught r one. Okay. Then next, e out is equal to q divided by four pi epsilon naught r squared into n is equal to Sigma R squared divided by epsilon naught R squared into n. Okay, this is the applications of Gauss theorem. Next, electric field lines. Electric field lines are straight or curved lines. Tangent to which at a point gives the direction of electric field. Okay, the next electric field lines diverge from positive charge. Direction of electric field lines is towards direction of electric field. If charged particle enters electric field with velocity uh, v vector perpendicular to the e vector, then its path will be a parabola. With displacement y is equal to one divided by two into q divided by m e t squared. Okay, hope you understand this concepts. Then next we are going to discuss about electrostatic potential and capacitance. Electrostatic potential means what? It is a uh, Work done is moving a unit charge from infinity to a point in an electric field. So V is equal to potential V is equal to work divided by charge. So work what is uh, unit is a W divided by charge. Q W V is equal to W by Q. Okay. 
okay then next uh, due to a uh, due to a point charge q so v is equal to k into q by r so here k is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught due to dipole v is equal to kp cos theta divided by r square here p is the dipole momentum that we know very well due to charged conducting sphere so v s or v in is equal to k q divided by r here r is the radius of sphere v out is equal to k q divided by r okay so these are the electrostatic potential next we are going to discuss about electric potential energy so what is that work done in moving a charge so w is equal to u my u i minus u f okay then next potential energy of system of two point charges is equal to k q1 q2 divided by r uh, before we want to know potential difference means what so v potential difference it is denoted by the letter capital v is a work done in moving a unit charge from one point to another okay so potential difference is equal to vb minus va uh, is equal to integral a to b so e vector into di okay so uh, it is uh, already we discussed the potential energy of system of two po point charges the next uh, po potential energy of a system of three point charges if three point means u is equal to uh, u1 plus u3 plus u3 u1 plus u2 plus u3 like u is equal to k into q1 q2 divided by r12 plus q2 q3 divided by r23 plus q1 uh, q3 divided by r13 okay this could be used in formulas the next potential energy of a system of four point charges let's say four point means u is equal to u12 plus u23 plus u34 plus u41 plus u13 13 plus u24 okay the next potential energy of charge placed in uniform the electric field so w is equal to q v is equal to del ke that is the kinetic energy work done is equal to uh, del of kinetic energy okay then next work done when two point charge are placed in uh, electric field that means e so w is equal to q1 v1 into r1 plus q2 v2 into r2 plus k into q1 q2 divided by or 12 next time work done in rotating a dipole in the electric field so w is equal to minus p e cos theta 2 plus p e cos theta 1 so potential energy of dipole u is equal to minus p into e vector so he p is the electric dipole e is the electric field okay then next uh, potential difference no so on equipotential surface so p d is equal to what zero okay the next we are going to discuss about capacitors it is a device to store charge capacitor mean device to store charge so capacitance c is equal to q divided by v so si unit is the farad the spherical capacitor c is equal to 4 pi epsilon at r into c is directly proportional to r okay so the parallel plate capacitor c naught is equal to a epsilon naught divided by d this is the symbol of the parallel plate capacitor so parallel plate capacitor furtherly is a with dielectric of dielectric constant k uh, t is uh, less than d so c is equal to a epsilon naught divided by d minus t into 1 minus 1 by k okay the next term with conducting slab t is than d so c is equal to a epsilon naught divided by d minus t the next uh, the uh, capacitors is the combinations of capacitors combinations of capacitors have that two points namely two points is the series combination and parallel combination so series combinations is the all capacitors have same charge but at different potential parallel combinations is the all capacitors are at the same potential okay so series combination formula what 1 by cs is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 plus etc plus 1 divided by cn the next u is equal to summation of 1 by 2 c1 v squared is equal to summation of ui okay so parallel combination formula what cp is equal to c1 plus c2 plus etc plus cn so up is equal to summation of 1 by 2 c1 v squared is equal to summation of 
you i okay i hope you understand this concepts thank you all the best